What up guys, welcome back to my series on the Pirates of the Caribbean movies leading up to Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, which comes out on May 26th. So last week, for the few people who watched it, I reviewed Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl, which you can check out on my channel right now. And today, I'm going to review Pirates of the Caribbean 2, Dead Men's Chest. Now this movie is interesting because it's gotten a lot of mixed reviews. I think it's got like a 54 in Rotten Tomatoes. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people think it's okay. I personally don't understand why people hate it or only think it's okay. Because quite frankly, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men's Chest is like one of my all-time favorite swashbuckling action comedy romances. I don't know if that's really technically a genre, but I'm calling it that because that's basically what it is. I'm just gonna say it right now, I absolutely love this movie. So basically as the story goes, you know, after the events of the first one, uh, Jack and Will and Elizabeth are all basically under arrest for aiding Jack, and then Davy Jones is loose with his crew, and he has his heart hidden in a chest, which this evil guy Beckett is basically wanting to steal so he can control the seas. So he gets Will to go find that, but also Jack, and it's pretty convoluted stuff. But it's absolutely awesome. There is so much to love about this movie, starting with, and not limited to, the action. This movie has some of the best swashbuckling action comedy in any movie I have ever seen. I mean, seriously, starting off with a really awesome sequence on this cannibal island. Basically, they have Jack and the rest of a bunch of the other crew members, and Will shows up, and they're basically all escaping. It is some of the funniest action stuff in any movie I've seen in quite some time. It kind of pays homage to a whole Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of thing with, you know, the running away from cannibals, kind of like at the beginning of that movie with Indy and the cannibals. But yeah, just the way it happens, it's so funny and entertaining. Then, you know, there's silly stuff that happens at Tortuga, which is hilarious but also fun to watch. There's stuff that happens on Davy Jones' ship, which is really dark and creepy and kind of intense but really exciting. And then you have another island fight, which is probably better than the first, where you have three people fighting each other with swords and they're going on this this big uh, mill wheel and it's spinning everywhere and then you have all of Davy Jones' crew running around and you have Elizabeth and those two idiots from the first that you love trying to outrun them and get the heart. Seriously, this movie is just so freaking entertaining. And something else that sets this movie apart from a lot of action movies similar-ish to this, like the first one, is the effects. This movie looks absolutely beautiful for two reasons. One, like the first, there are a lot of practical effects and locations. They are on desert islands. They are in pubs. They are, I think, on ships at certain point. And if not full ships, partly enough to make it look real. And sure, there's a lot of CGI in this movie, but it's some of the best CGI in, like, any movie. I know that's saying a lot, but if I was to rank, like, some of the best modern CGI work, I would put Lord of the Rings at the top, and then honestly under that, it's the first couple Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Seriously, everything in this movie looks so real. Even the giant Kraken, which shows up, it looks so real. When it's taken down ships, they couldn't have done a better job with that. Also, the whole crew's back in the first film. You have Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow, and honestly, though some people think he was boring in this one. I thought he was funnier than ever. Kieran Knightley and Orlando Bloom are back as Will and Elizabeth. And there's a new story element that they develop with Will and his father, who is one part of the crew on Davy Jones' ship. And also on that note, Davy Jones is a fantastic villain. First of all, like I said, like the Kraken looked awesome. His CGI stuff looks amazing too. I mean, all those tentacles, I think those were CGI and maybe some motion capture, but it looked fantastic. Also, the entire crew looked fantastic. This whole movie visually looks incredible and I love it. And it brings back the original score that Hans Zimmer helmed this time around from the first one and it's still amazing and adventurous as ever. I really don't understand why some people don't like it or even even hate it. I know a couple people who hate it. I mean, if anything, I'll let people say it's a little long. Yes, this movie is two and a half hours long. For me personally, I think it it flows pretty well throughout. There might be a part or two in between, like when they first meet the the witch goddess person, that you know it, it drags a little bit. But overall, for a two and a half hour movie, I think it. It, it, it holds up mostly. But seriously, the action in this movie is fantastic. It's exciting and hilarious at the same time. Is the story fantastic? It's pretty convoluted and ridiculous, but it's still exciting and interesting enough. And there's a cliffhanger leading off into the third one. Gore Verbinski actually did shoot Pirates 2 and 3 back to back, so those two are kind of clumped into one. Now, obviously, there are a lot more mixed feelings about the third one, which I'll get to in my Pirates 3 review. But for now, this one, though, it's amazing. I'll just say right now, this is definitely my favorite Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I've watched it so many times. It's so much fun. It's entertaining as heck. And I'm going to give Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest a whopping A.
Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You can look forward to my Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End review coming sometime next week. I look forward to talking about that, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you like this video, please click on any more of my videos that I have up on my channel, especially my Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl review. But you know what you should do? You should click below and subscribe to my channel so you get more updates as to when I actually get the videos out. And if you want to, please comment below. Let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you guys.